everybody, Michael Tyler here with another free Vecric project of the month. This month's project is called the Remote Control Depository and features three cavities for storing your remote control units near your media center, entertainment center, television set, and so on. Depending on the size of your remote control, it can hold up four or five remote controls, uh, maybe more if they're really small. This project is compatible with both the VCARF software and Aspire software and was created in the Vectric VCARF software. The project includes illustrated PDF instructions you can print out, as well as the rest of this step-by-step -step video where I show you the steps I took to create this project. If you want to have a go at making one of these yourself, you can download the files from your VNCO account and you can find the link for that below. If you make your own version, please feel free to share that on the Vectric forum and across social media. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And finally, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for instant updates on new project videos we release. So please enjoy the rest of this video and have fun. Happy carving. <laughs> Okay, I'm in the process of gluing the three middle sections together. I'm just applying a thin layer of glue on the uh, middle three parts that go together. Now I'll clamp that and let that dry. I got the bulk of the tabs off already, but uh, there's some remnants left and I, I'll remove those after this is glued together and, and dried. So I'll clamp it after I get it all assembled. And just a note here, what I'll do is I'll stand this up and line these things up and let it dry upright when I clamp it. The uh, center sections are all dry and sanded up. I uh, sanded the inside of the compartments there. I did not sand the outside yet because I'll wait until this is all glued up and dry to complete the final sanding. So I'll just spread a little glue on here. And smooth it out with a brush.
And we'll do the same thing with this side. And again, uh, after it's glued up, I'll stand it up, line it up, and clamp it till it's dry. Okay, the glue's all dry, so let's go give this a final sand to blend all the sections together. Now that the final sanding's done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, coat this uh, several coats with Krylon gloss and then follow that up with a Krylon flat. And afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and infill these uh, recessed areas with uh, acrylic brown craft paint. All right, I've uh, coated this with several light coats of uh, gloss and then uh, flat just to give it a little bite for uh, this acrylic paint that I'm going to apply. Just applying just some Apple Barrel Brown uh, paint, acrylic craft paint from the uh, craft store. And I'll apply that inside the recesses just to give a contrast there. I'll squirt a little of this paint out. Got my paint brushes all handy. And we'll uh, go ahead and paint the inside of these recesses. The paint's all dry in the recesses, and before applying the final clear coat, I'm just installing these uh, dowel plugs into the hole recesses here. So I'll just dab a little bit of glue inside and insert my dowel plugs. You might need to coax them in with a rubber mallet. Okay, we'll continue that for the four on this side, and then we got four on the other side as well. All right, the uh, dowel caps are all installed, so we're ready for applying the final clear coats. Use a clear coat of your choice. I'm just gonna use some uh, Krylon. I think I'll start out with this flat. If I change my mind, I'll go to a satin. So it's up to you what clear coat you apply uh, as your final uh, finish. So I hope you enjoyed this project. It makes a handy receptacle for all those remote controls laying around. So this is Michael Tyler signing off for now, and I'll see you next month with another free Vectric Project of the Month.